Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day as we are going to two famous lakes here in Alberta, Lake Louise and Lake Moraine. The weather couldn't be more perfect. We woke up very early because our first destination is two hours away from downtown Calgary and we know that there will be a lot of tourists in the area if we arrive late. You need to plan ahead for your visit to Lake Louise and Moraine Lake due to high demand. Parking lots fill up quickly, so taking transit or booking a Parks Canada shuttle like what we did is the stress-free way to ensure you see these iconic lakes. Remember, booking your shuttle in advance is required. We are nearly at the park and ride parking area and it's only 7.30 a.m. Can you believe the clear skies we have today? This road trip has been incredibly enjoyable so far, but little did we know that it would turn out to be the most unforgettable journey we ever had so far. Here is our first destination, the parking space of Park and Ride. I strongly recommend arriving here as early as possible because as you can see, it's nearly full by 7.30 a.m. We had some difficulty finding a parking spot, so early arrival is very crucial to this trip. Now we are walking to claim our bus tickets. I highly advise purchasing them online to avoid any potential delays. Just print your tickets or download them to show at this booth and obtain your bus stub. Never lose this stub as it will be required every time you board a bus. Waiting game! We waited, I think, for 15 minutes for the first bus to arrive. I look like a mess here. If you can only see my eye bags because we woke up so early. Oh my, I'm never taking off my eyeglasses today. This place is absolutely incredible as a waiting area. You have the flexibility to decide whether Lake Louise or Lake Moraine will be your first destination. For us, we opted for Lake Louise first, followed by Lake Moraine. The choice is entirely up to you. Here's the bus and we're on our way. I don't remember it exactly but I believe it took us around 20 minutes to reach Lake Louise. Oji took the chance to relax and even took a nap as he was feeling a bit tired from the two-hour drive from Calgary. Finally, we're here at Lake Louise. Ever since we arrived here in Canada, we really wanted to visit this lake. It's been in our bucket list and we're so excited that we can finally see it today. Just a few steps away and you will see the beauty of this lake. I can almost see it from here. Here we are! Although it's still early, the place is already bustling with tourists. The weather may be cloudy, but the lake looks stunning regardless of the weather conditions. I'm not sure why the water has this color, but it's undeniably beautiful. Take a look at this view. I could look at this all day long. Since the entrance area is crowded with people, we chose to walk further to find a private spot where we can fully enjoy the serenity of this place. We sat on one of the benches and we were captivated by the beauty of this lake. Some might find it overdramatic, but for us, it truly feels surreal. We don't see this every day and we're incredibly grateful to witness this wonderful creation of nature. Out of nowhere, this very cute squirrel caught our attention as it happily munched on a leaf. It was incredibly adorable to watch. Make sure to take as many photos and videos as you like because we don't know when we'll have another chance to be here again. Let's capture the moment to preserve the memories. After spending an hour at Lake Louise, we noticed that it was getting quite crowded. 
so we decided to go and head to the next lake. Goodbye Lake Louise, until we meet again. In the waiting area, you'll find banners that will guide you, ensuring you never get lost. We saw a couple who did not purchase their tickets online and unfortunately, they were not allowed to board. Again, I strongly advise you to buy your tickets online to avoid such delays and remember to keep your stub safe. It took another 20 minutes uh, travel time from Lake Louise to Lake Moraine. We were hungry so we ate a sandwich during this trip. It's helpful to bring snacks since there are no food vendors available in these parks. And here we are! Unlike Lake Louise, Lake Moraine may not be as well known and we had little idea of what to expect here. Surprisingly, even some Canadians who were born and raised here haven't heard of Lake Moraine. Initially, we almost considered skipping this trip, but I'm grateful that we didn't because our experience here has been truly worthwhile. When we saw this place, I was like, this is it? You can't be near the water and the view is very limited. But then, we saw people hiking to the top, so we followed them. Reaching the top here involved climbing six flights of stairs. We saw some elderly individuals who couldn't ascend and had to remain behind. The hike and six flights of stairs is tiring, so don't forget to bring water to stay hydrated. There are steps that are steep, so you have to be very careful. Take extra care, especially if you're with children. Please note that starting this year, Moraine Lake is closed to personal vehicles throughout the year. However, from June to mid-October, you can use Park Scanner shuttles, roam public transit, or commercial buses to access the area. Exceptions will be made for visitors with parking placards, individuals with disabilities, and guests of Moraine Lake Lodge. I will put the link about this from Parks Canada website on the description box for your reference. Friends. I was already exhausted at this point and the thought of turning back crossed my mind. I'm so glad we continued with the climb because what we witnessed at the top truly took our breath away. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, Lake Moraine. Instantly fell in love with the place. It looks like something straight out of a painting. Here's the other side of Lake Moraine. The sight of the ice capped mountains is absolutely mesmerizing and truly wonderful. Let's return to the lake and fully embrace its beauty. After spending another hour at Lake Moraine and taking perhaps thousands of photos, it's time to make our way back. We made our way to the park and ride area and easily found a banner directing us back to the parking area. This Alberta trip has undoubtedly been the best experience of our entire lives. We had a chance to witness breathtaking places that left us in awe. Beyond the amazing sights, we believe that traveling together strengthens our relationship. Oji and I have been together for 12 years, and exploring new places has always been a top priority for us. So I encourage everyone to travel at least once a year. It not only strengthens your relationship, but also help you grow spiritually and psychologically as an individual. So that is the end of this video. If you like this, please give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Till next time, bye!